Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are shocked by racially motivated discrimination faced by defenders and indigenous peoples around the world. We continue to receive dreadful reports of violations and discrimination against individuals and communities. In Indonesia, assaults and intimidation of Papuan students took place in multiple locations in late August. Racial discrimination was fueled by members of the military and civil militias who called Papuan students monkeys and dogs. The police failed to protect students during the subsequent protests. A violent crackdown on the anti-racism protest of Fageta town in Papua led to death of eight Papuans and more than 50 injured on the 28th of August. Several UN experts and the High Commissioner expressed concerns about violent demonstrations in Papua. The government should refrain from any excessive use of force, Mrs. Bachvet said, noting also that blanket internet shutdowns could exacerbate tensions among communities facing long-standing racism and discrimination. Yesterday, 23rd of September, in Jayapura, unrest continued in Sandarvasi University with at least three killings of Papuan civilians and seven people injured. In Bamena, internet access was restricted again after demonstrations that killed nine and injured 20, 72 civilians. We urge the state of Indonesia to fulfill its human rights obligations and to stop the racial and discriminating policies against indigenous peoples, political and civil activists, and human rights Thank defenders. You, Maggie,